position for the first time. Just one change on the Limerick line out. Mike Galligan is unable to play and his place is given to Barry Foley. It's been a great league campaign so far for Waterford and undoubtedly one of their stars has been Ken McGrath who despite his tender years has been awesome at times. Just two changes in their lineup. Tom Feeney has been moved to corner back and will surely solidify a defence led by the informed Fergal Hartley. By one change in the attack, Dave Bennett is replaced by Derek McGrath. Match referee is Jimmy Cooney, former Galway star. Limerick won the toss and are playing from left to right. And Waterford, as Gerald McCarthy told me during the week, down in Walsh Park. But these DC's boys wanted to start brightly with an early score. Let's see if they can do that. Centre half back, Mark Foley. He's blossomed as a centre half back during this league campaign. Left half back for Waterford is Brian Green. Centre back, man of the match against Kilkenny in the what turned out to be essentially the league quarter final, Fergal Hartley. To one of the most stylish hurlers, Tony Brown. And it's a good ball. Joe Craig is off the line. Referee has blown his whistle from the centre of the pitch. And in fact, he is going to give the 65. And Joe is still suffering from that ball. There was a big clash there, you can see. And he hit the ground awkwardly. Paul Flynn. He was practising these in Walsh Park during the week. And all the practice has paid off. The first point is indeed to Waterford. And again, it's Virgil Hartley. Concedes the sideline ball. Possession to Limerick. Shane O'Neill. Good cut in. Well gathered by Mark O'Sullivan. Not a good clearance. Fergal Hartley is there again, challenging is Barry Foley. He wins the tussle for possession. And this time, the focusing is dead on. Bar Barry Foley's first point levels the match. One of the most skillful players in the game. Waterford possibly should have cleared their lines here. But uh, a good opportunist forwards avails of the space. Again, it's Mark Foley. The two centre backs so far here in Simple Stadium easily dominating the play. That's a wonderful pass by Sean Cunnan from Passage. Inspirational. But then he makes a total mess of it. Intercepted well by the centre forward, Ali Moore. And that's another point for Limerick. Limerick lead for the second time. Comes down towards Tony Brown, making an angle. Good calling. That's good play by Waterford. Dan Shanahan is the man available. Half blocked down by Clem Smith. He did well to recover. Shanahan gets a chance to make amends. But somehow Smith gets a hurley to it. A long clearance down towards the full back line. Comes to TJ Ryan. Shot. A goal for Limber. From one end of the field to the other. Wonderful play. But on its all gone for zero. Is it? Yes, it is. Because the referee has disallowed score for pulling on Marco Sullivan's jersey by TJ Ryan. This is why you can see here TJ Ryan blatantly pulling Marco Sullivan down. That had to be a free up. Gary Kirby, off Sullivan on the ground. Down towards Tony Brown, pulling it at first time. Fergal Hartley is underneath it. Marco Sullivan trying to scoop it up. It comes to his fullback, brilliantly hooked by Barry Foley. In towards the corner, towards Damian Quigley. Inside all alone is TJ Ryan. Marco Sullivan has gone back. Still there is Sean Colnan. It's frantic, it's passionate, it's brilliant hurling for a league semi final. Paul Flynn going for the glory, going for the points. A hat trick of points for one of Waterford's brightest emerging stars, a man called Paul Flynn. This was a wonderful score taken by Bally Gunners Flynn from way out the field, and this level the match for the third time. Intercepted, it's Quigley who's had to chase and pursuit possession. Left half back is Brian Green for Waterford. It won't come up for Ollie Moore. The referee blows his whistle and he's given a free to Limerick. Gary Kirby seeking to put the champions in front yet again. 
hits off the post, comes back down towards the right half forward, James Morton. Damien Quigley is there going for the goal, surprisingly, and it's Hartley once more, scooping it out brilliantly to Tom Feeney. Down the middle towards Ken McGuire, and again it's Mark Foley. Showing experience beyond his years, waiting for the break. It's an intelligent ball towards TJ Ryan. Available outside him was James Morn, but TJ takes the point all by himself. Now Limerick lead again. Brilliantly pulled on again by Ken McGrath. David Clark under pressure, dispossessed. As Waterford tried to uh, engineer something, it just won't come up for them first time. And David Clark pursues and hustles until that ball is cleared down into the middle of the field. Fergal Hartley, available as Tony Brown. Hartley goes for the equaliser. That is brilliant hurling. Wonderful play by one of the best hurlers in the country at the moment, the inform Fergal Hartley. And just like Waterford a few moments ago, Gary Kirby now is being switched out to centre forward and Ollie Morn to full forward. And that's to uh, try and thwart Fergal Hartley a little bit. Mark O'Sullivan, first to the ball. Down towards Tony Brown, two Waterford players. Peter Queeley, his midfield partner, gets there first. Over towards the corner forward, Billy O'Sullivan. Twisting, turning, looking for somebody. The man he finds is Ken McGrath. There's a chance here for goal. Oh! duo of Flynn and Ken McGrath. Joe Quaid hadn't a hope. Gary Kirby to Damien Quigley. Brilliantly blocked down yet again. Fergal Hartley. This is inspirational hurling by Waterford. Paul Flynn available outside is Ken McGrath. He twists inside and he sends it over the bar. Waterford may not have won a lead. They may have no silverware for years, but there is a belief in Waterford that this is going to be their year. Shane O'Neill was trying to knock it down towards uh, Mike Houlihan. Coming in here is Stephen Frampton getting there first. Good pull. Anthony Kerwin now operating a full forward. Sweet ball out towards the goal scorer, Ken McGrath. He can score from there, no, no, It's a goal and a point for Ken McGrath. Marco Sullivan anticipated this very well. Seems to find it very hard to hold his footing. I would uh, recommend for Mark maybe a change of cogs at halftime. This is Ali Morn causing problems. Not for very long. Clear down the line, down the middle. Picked up by Peter Quayley. In low towards Anthony Kerwin, who wins the tussle with Alan Brown. Kerwin on the turn. Kerwin on the score. Mount signs Anthony Kerwin puts Waterford very firmly in front. Mike Coolhan and Tony Brown. Nicely picked up by TJ Ryan. Floating one in for Ollie Morn. And well won by Tom Feeney. Pulled on by Brian Green. Peter Queeley is there to help out his defence. And he's there again. So too is Mike Hullahan. Leaves it behind him. It comes instead to James Morn, who whips one in. Half blocked by Brian Green. Barry Foley now operating in the corner. Sends that over the bar. For his second point of this league semi-final. Paul Hutt. Finally, for Ken McGrath. In towards Paul Flynn. Turning. Steve McDonough, no less. A man for his half dozen points. Six points for Paul Flynn. This time, possession well won by Ollie Morn. Cross towards James Morn, and that too is an easy point. 
made by Brother Ali. The referee Jimmy Coney brings to an end a most enjoyable first 30 minutes. Waterford by no means overawed by the champions. Ken McGrath's goal surely the highlight and some other inspirational play by none other than the Waterford centre-back Fergal Hartley puts Waterford into the lead at half-time on that scoreline 1-9 to Limerick's 7 points. This must surely be one of the biggest crowds at a league semi-final in Thurles. Estimated attendance at the moment is 40,000 people as the referee Jimmy Cooney starts the second half on a day when we're all enjoying the sunshine for a change in Ireland and a day when the hurling of Limerick and Waterford is something to behold. Like that. Waterford mean business. Dan Shanahan gets the first point after about 20 seconds into the second half. From any angle, it's a premier shot. Top class score. Almost got it by Dan Shanahan. Scooped away by Shane O'Neill. That's going to be a line ball for Waterford. Peter Queeley. Much better than Browns. And just kept in. Alan Brown scooping it away. Billy O'Sullivan going down on it with Anthony Kerwin. Here's Billy now. Cutting it across. Good ball. Here's a chance. And that's an excellent score by Tony Brown. I anticipated at least that he was going to get a score. I thought it was going to be from a sideline. It came from play instead. Fergal Hartley underneath it. As Waterford lead now by six points. Hartley again has been inspirational. That's a sweet ball to Anthony Kerwin. Giving problems to Alan Brown. And that's another point for Anthony Kerwin. The smile is back in Waterford. But down in Tremor and Dungarvan, the sun is beginning to shine. And maybe the bonfires are going to be lit. Ken McGrath pulled on by Mark Foley. Out towards Tony Brown. Good angle for Tony normally, and it's a sweet score. Two points for Tony Brown. The Waterford people told me during the week that Clare and Wexford inspired them. I think you've just seen the arrival of a Waterford team emerging. That's a great score. David Clark has possession. Chasing after was Tony Brown. Still David Clark. Derek McGrath. Good pressure by Waterford. That was the midfielder and the half forward chasing back. Comes down towards Kieran Carey. Here's the inspiration that Limerick just might need. Hooked superbly. Left behind him. What about this? This is superb by Waterford. Lovely little flick on by Ken McGrath. The Hurley's fly. The clash of the ash. As Paul Flynn takes the time to shoot. skill by Ken McGrath that made the space for Paul Flynn Batman and Robin dynamic duo they have arrived 114 to 8 points this is Stephen Frampton this is all about hunger depression in Waterford hurling for years they mightn't have won anything this evening but they've given a superb display this is Mike Houlihan looking for room to swing referee gives him the benefit of the doubt and a free Dropping it in. Brendan Landers happy to deflect it over the bar. 114 to 9. Paul Flynn. Looking for a colleague. Looking for space. Nobody readily available. Steve McDonough nipping in his Derek McGrath. McDonough loses his footing. Joe Quay comes out and McGrath left it behind him. And nobody in Carlos can believe that. Comes back down to, yes, Fergal Hartley. Takes too many turns, free to Limerick.
Mike Houlihan. They're going for goals now. Comes down. Oh, great save by Landers. He's earned his keep to use a pun, but I think it's worthy here. Brendan Landers from Lismore showed tremendous agility here as that ball dropped in, particularly as if the backs were going to connect, but somehow Landers saw it. Meanwhile, it's Mike Houlihan with the 65, straight over the bar. Second point for Mike. Seven points between them. And as I said earlier, Ger Hegarty is in at full forward. Good play here by Billy O'Sullivan. Coming across is Mark Foley. Stephen McDonough is available if he needs him. Still Mark. Good relieving clearance. Virgil Hartley again. Tony Brown being challenged by Mike Holohan. Using his strength effectively. Sending it in towards Ter Hegarty, who's behind his man. Sean Colnan. Nipping in here is TJ Ryan. The champions now responding, maybe. Still TJ turning, taking his points. Yes, it's gone over. TJ Ryan's second point of this league semi final. Mike Hullen left unmarked. Again, they try and feed Ter Hegarty. Stopped this time by Marco Sullivan. To his left half back, Brian Green. Fergal Hartley, TJ Ryan. Putting TJ Ryan under a lot of pressure. He's fouled, and that's going to be a free end. Almost 20 minutes gone now in the second half. Will Gary Kirby go for a goal? He's looking over to Eamon Cregan. Here's Kirby going for it. A bullet. Into the back of the net. A goal and three points for Gary Kirby. Four points between them. Kieran Carey. It's a poor ball. Stopped this time by Tom Feeney. Tom just barely. I thought he kept it in, but the linesman has indicated that it is a line ball. Seamus O'Reilly, the photographer, is the man in the way. Dropping it in, comes back out, oh! What a goal! Barry falling! What a score! Just watch this for the beauty of the game of hurling. The slipper came out to Barry Foley, first time pull, and nobody saw it. The ball is sent into his Alan Brown. Clearance is not a great one, but it does relieve the pressure. Sideline ball for Waterford. Peter Quayley. The familiar pose of Kieran Carey. Referee says play on. Ken McGrath robs the Limerick lads and sends it over the bar for what could turn out to be the most crucial score. First time pulled by Brian Green. First time in the air. Brilliant play by Ken McGrath. To Dan Shanahan. Sends it in low towards Anthony Carwin. Oh, lovely spell. Here's a chance. Michael White. What a goal. One of the most skillful pieces of action I've ever seen in Central Stadium. What about that? What a beautiful piece of action by Michael White. It's all over. Waterford have beaten the champions. In a wonderful day for Waterford Harley. Gerald McCarthy is congratulated by all. Peter Queeley knows that today is Waterford's day. But what a way to win a league semi-final. Gerald McCarthy has brought these boys from the doldrums of Division 2 to the league final of 1998. This is the full-time score. The champions are beaten. Waterford 2-17, Limerick 2-11.
Yes, so that Michael White goal there in the dying moments of that game, finally putting the match out of Limerick's reach, despite a rather spirited second-half display by the champions. But the champions are out, and it's Waterford who march on to the final. OK, coming up after the commercial break, we have